<clears throat> hey YouTube, it's Alfred Fortune Seven Thirty One here with the top profile from my uh, Elemental Hero deck. I kind of just scrapped my Hyrax to go back to playing heroes because originally when I first started playing Yu-Gi-Oh, I actually started like going hero and stuff like that. So I figured, why not? Since they're kind of OP now, plus with the variance force coming out, I might as well just start playing heroes. Okay, so here's basically the run of the mill of the whole thing. First off, I'm playing like uh, 12 monsters, I only, and I only managed to keep track of the monster spec. I'm just playing so many spells and trap. I'm just playing so many spells like Kanaki Cat. It's not really that too big on trap head. It's not too big on trap head. But I like the way it's uh, been rolling pretty far. Alright, so let's get to work. Alright, uh, one strato searches out. Searches out, uh, love it. Three. Sorry about that. My camera got it. This is my iPhone. Three alias. Eh, forgive me, but I'm a little glitchy. Wish I had my tripod. Wish I had a tripod. <coughs> uh, pretty good. Pretty standard. You know, it's, it's pretty standard, but it's a pretty standard deck. Triple Bubble Man. Triple Bubble Man. Uh, one Ocean. Uh, he actually works really good. Uh, especially when I go for like Excalibur or Utopia first. Excalibur, like first turn. I can just like, uh, summon him out. Nah. I can just like, uh, summon him out. Uh, Fisher. And like, fish out. And get back a card. So he works really well with Stratos too. Uh, one Lady Heat. I'm running Lady Heat because of Nova Ma it Is because of my Nova Master and my heroes kind of. And she deals two. And she burns 200 for, to my opponent for every hero I control. Uh, one Wild Heart. He's a pretty good tag. Can't be hurt. Can't be hurt by traps in any way, really. And finally, two Veiler. Really good. Really works good against Trius when you're playing like a Dark Hole and stuff. Like, or Torrential Tribute when they summon Trius. When they summon Trius. Just like, effect Veiler it before it could get off its effect. That's it for the monster lineup. Uh, for the spells. One reinforcement and two e call. So just <clears throat> when I get all three in hand, it's pretty much I pretty much just got the game right there. It's just it's all right there. For re miracle, like I said, it's standard stuff. Standard stuff. Uh, one super probably hoping to get another one real soon here. Okay, uh, and one mass change. It goes good with the uh, absolute goes in the acid pretty much just nukes my opponent's field. Uh, yeah, it just kind of blows the whole thing up all in one in one swoop. Uh, one heavy back row killer along with the MST engine, and I'm playing Rayborn, my control, Dark Hole. Pot of Avarice and one Book of Moon. The basic end. And I'm hoping to get some Forbidden Lances soon here, cause all I got are the, all I got are chalices, and chalices is just not doing it for me anymore. <clears throat> That's it for just that. Pretty much just rounds up all the spells. Okay, and for trap cards, I am playing. Three Phoenix, three Phoenix chain. Uh, I tried him out. Uh, love it. I, I just love him. I just love this guy. Uh, I was playing Evil Swarm. I was playing my friend Seth's Evil Swarm deck. Uh, the other day over at my locals, he was. I was helping him test out. Oh fun. As soon as he got out, and like after I went first, oh fun. It, I just killed him with it. Cause right when he exceeds something, I 
used chain on it. I used chain on it, and that pretty much just killed him and won me the game. And, uh, 2D present for protection. Once all morning. It really sucks that it got bumped down to 1, though. Kind of disappointed. But the ban list still works in a lot of people's favors, considering windups got hit pretty hard. And, uh, one mirror force, one call, one torrential, uh, starlight. Yes, I am running starlight roads. Uh, means, yeah, Stardust is in my deck, so. Somehow I just. Unless I'm running the same goes. I just love it. Because I just love this guy. Even if it's like a heavy storm or dark, cool, it just pretty much waste it's pretty much a waste. And when Hero Blast, because I'm running the alias engine, okay, that pretty much rounds it up for the whole main deck. And I am now on to the extra deck, which includes two shining <clears throat> two shining uh lava gains a whole bunch Gains major attack point bow. Automatically starts out with 3200 attack. They give you use two feet, like two alias or whatever. Uh, two zeros because because I just chose not to run three because if I did, then I wouldn't have that much room for Stardust or any of my XCs. So I found out. So I just figured two would be perfect. And plus I'm running mass change, so yeah. Uh. One Nova Math, just uh, one Nova Math stir for uh, like Lagia and uh, Dolka, and because I'm running the Lady Heat, I'm hoping to get like a Heat to go with it. Escarado, I'm a Escarado. He works really good. He's good against Insectors and Dark Quilts, so I'm just keeping him in there. Uh, one A. When I say, like I said, it goes good with uh, zero and just pretty much just nukes the feet. Pretty much just nukes the feet on my opponent's side. And I don't really have to worry about anything else. He's got like some like battle fit or some kind of major dark world killer that's gonna just mess up my whole strategy. And uh, Stardust, like I said, for Starlight Road. Uh, 16 Shockmaster. He's really good. He's actually really open. He's really good right now, so I might as well, so I thought, eh, why not? Uh, one Utopia, and of course, Utopia Ray. <clears throat> um, when the Limited Magic Barrier Force comes out in the, in the Lord Attack on set, I might just take out Utopia Ray for Utopia Ray V, because he's a lot better. Because he's actually a lot better than Utopia Ray. And I can get him out. And I can just like get him out quicker. One Excal, watch Excalibur. He goes like if I like I say sync exceeds him with uh, Stratos and uh, Bowman. <clears throat> I can just detach both, and then say if I then if I have like a Miracle Fusion in my hand, I can kick that off right away for like uh, uh, Absolute or. Or like for absolute, yeah. And then I'm also running one blade armor because I hope I was trying to fit in two, but I might as well just go one Excalibur and one blade armor. And uh, one Pappy operative goes really good against Zen, against uh, Zen mains and uh, Maze Stroke too. Speaking of Maze Stroke, I'm also running him. He's good for defense and a nice way to get. We have overpowering cards like uh, she, yeah, like legendary sea summer she and a whole bunch of other stuff. Believe it or not, actually, I was hoping to go to the Seattle Regionals uh, the twentieth, but I don't think I'll be able to make it. Okay, that runs out the extra deck. On to the side deck. There's only about fourteen cards in here, and one of them is Great Tornado. I'm saying, and because I'm running stra. That was plus he's really good against the Dragonity, Hieratic Build, and Chaos, and Chaos Dragons. Uh, <clears throat> one Maxi May. He's a major plus, so. 
I'm just keeping them in here. Especially if it's something like, uh, shit, insector, shit like, uh, insectors. Fuck it. Next, uh, Thunder King Ryo. It's really good again. It's really good set. It's pretty good. It's, hmm. I'm thinking about running two of them. Either I'm thinking about running another one of Ryo or. DD Crow because if I activate DD Crow during Pot of Hourverse, it pretty much just cancel, pretty much just blows out the whole thing, or another track for defense purposes. But then again, I am running Gore, so maybe just another Thunder King or something. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Should I run another Ryo, Thunder King, or DD Crow? Also, uh, my body, my body. He's gonna. He's basically just another star. He's basically just star spell with the fifteen hundred costs. I kind of like. I kind of like it. And uh, smashing ground. My little tech. Smashing ground helps get rid of the maestro faster. Uh, and one creature swap. That pretty much just rounds it up for all of the spell. Count in the side deck and monster too. And now for the chart cards, I'm running one dust tornado, two bottles, all for protection, and two macros for dark world for dark worlds. And that pretty much macro, and that pretty much just wraps it up for the whole deck. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. No, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Dark of Fortune 731. Signing out for now.